What's good? How's everybody doing out there? What's going on? Today, 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 I'm just going to give you 10 myths that people say um, things that can hurt your credit score. 10 myths. These things aren't true. They are not true. And number one is checking your credit score hurts your credit score. No, it doesn't. Contrary to this myth, checking your own credit score is only a, well, checking your own credit score, they say, is a soft inquiry. It doesn't impact your credit score. It's only a hard inquiries from lenders that may have a small temporary effect. So that's a myth. Checking your credit score does not hurt it. Closing credit cards improves your credit scores. That's number two. Closing a credit account can negatively impact your credit score, especially if it reduces your total available credit. It's often better to keep the account open with a low zero balance. Yes, that indeed is true. Number three, having more credit cards lowers your credit score. The number of credit cards alone doesn't directly impact your credit score. It's more about how you manage them responsibly. Use multiple cards can actually benefit your credit score. So that is a myth too. Some people are scared of credit cards, so they don't know no better. Number four, credit scores only consider income. No, while income is important to your credit card application, credit scores primarily consider your credit history, outstanding payment history, and other factors. So credit scores only consider income. No, there's a multiple things that uh, your credit score consider. Number five, bad credit lasts forever. You guys know better than that. You can repair your credit over a course of time. Negative information such as missed payments or bankruptcy stays on your credit report for a limited time. With responsible financial behavior, you can rebuild your credit over time. Yes, you can rebuild your credit over time. You can dispute items. You can uh, talk to uh, debitors and get them to remove stuff. There's a multiple or over a course of time, certain things fall off. So that's another myth. Okay, number six, closing account removes it from your credit report. <laughs> now that's a real, real big myth. That would be so easy if you just, if you owe somebody it was late, just close the account and they'll remove it. Hell no, that shit don't work like that. Closed accounts, whether in good or bad standings, can remain on your credit report for a certain period. Positive accounts stay up, stay for up to 10 years. So that's not going to help you get something removed off your credit report. No, it does not work. Number seven, carrying a balance is boosts your score. No, carrying a balance on your credit card does not improve your credit score. Paying the balance off each month in general, recommendedly to avoid interest payments. So yes, you want to be on time when you're making payments and you want to keep that credit card utilization low at all times. So that's definitely a myth as well. And the last we have is credit repair companies work magic. Ooh, that's a good one. While some legitimate credit repair services exist, many promise more than they can deliver. Improving your credit often requires time and responsibility and financial habits. The biggest thing on that is a lot of these credit card companies, all they're doing, they have an uh, animated, automated system that actually generates a letter and it sends the letter out to Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, things of that nature. And um, they're just disputing it with legal, um, a legal letter. But sometimes, you know, things may come off for now and it may come back on. Some stuff just takes time. Um, different letters, you get in different letters and you dispute it. In it. Or sometimes you talk it to a creditor or it's just timing. And bankruptcies may not come off this year, but it may fall off next year. So you just got to be persistent and diligent, you know, when you're doing it. A lot of times we can dispute and uh, repair our credit ourselves, but you just got to be careful out here because there's so many different companies that's taking people money or... 
they got these companies that'll string you along $39.99 a month. And then you there, you with them for a year and you barely see slim to none results. No, they milking a the cow. They milking you. They slow walking you. They getting your money little by little. A good credit repair company, which I've had, well, I've only had inquiries taken off, is the this one I joined is actually, you don't pay until the inquiry comes off. I mean, you leave a deposit, but if the inquiry doesn't come off, then you don't have to pay them any money. I like that. They're standing on their word. So many repair companies and many people may make you promises and they will not deliver on them. But I know sometimes we all get busy sometimes and, you know, or some people just don't like putting the work in. They'd rather pay for somebody else to do it. Just be careful when you're picking and do your research. Um, hopefully, you know somebody that has used the company before. Make sure you see receipts, ask questions or just do it yourself and make sure you get results. If the results are taking too long, um, then you may want to consider going with someone else or doing it yourself. But if it's taking too long, sometimes stuff do take time, but learn how to be responsible so uh, you don't run into this situation. But if you have run into this situation, just um, make sure you don't run into this situation again and uh, it can be prevented. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Join my free school group, school.com, S-K-O-O-L. Look for Raw Game, R-E-W-G-A-M-E. -E. I started a community where everybody, we can all come together and collaborate, unlift one another, share our goals, share data points, share information, uh, financial information about different banks because things is changing every day. What worked today may not work tomorrow, you know, things of that nature. So we're just keeping up and helping each other, uh, answering questions for one another. I don't know it all, um, but I'm sure there's somebody that knows more than me I can learn from and they can, and somebody else can learn from me as well. So just keep that in mind. Join. I would love for you guys to leave comments as well. I'll see you on the next video.